We are Tate Collective working in conjunction with the Paul Hamlin Foundation and with Tate Modern to bring as many 15 to 25 year olds into the Tate Gallery as possible in the three day festival of Hyperlink. We had a, a brief about six degrees of separation. We also got given a piece that was called the Inflammatory Essays. The artist is called Jenny Holzer. And this visual artwork was including a lot of different essays of writing. Only God has the right to take a life. It was a fusion of music, spoken word, song, just visuals and vibes, really. We love the space. We, yeah, you know, especially for visual artists. And it's nice that Tate is branching out to more of the youth, you know, so that we can experience art in all its senses. Being part of Hyperlink is a, is a good look. The box sets are playing and I think they're really cool. We're like a beatbox and vocal group, so we do everything with just our voices. I recommended them, I heard them sing and, and beatbox together and they sound amazing. Curated by young people, which I think is really important because then everything that's on stage is really relevant. They were amazing. Now I'm off to go see Sway. The crowd was sick. As soon as we come on stage. And then yeah, the cameras. Lights and everything. It was amazing. Was I've never experienced that before. <laughs> it's really amazing how you brought everyone together and you got a concert and it's free. Yeah, I think Hyperlink is sick for that. I love it's that. It's great because kids can yeah, just come in and be inspired it. as well. <laughs> I'm really glad to be part of a festival. I think it's a great idea getting, you know, young people, encouraging young people and encouraging the arts. A lovely artist designed me some visuals to go in my performance and I think he did really well. What I really enjoyed about the show was the visuals along with the music, especially in the space. All the projections on the wall were really beautiful. George the Poet's about to perform later on today, so I'm going to stick around for that. you got a budget for the country clubs. Budget for the strip clubs, no proper budget for the youth clubs. It's just great that, that the Tate has opened themselves up to the under 25s. I can't believe they actually kept quiet. I haven't had a crowd that kept quiet in ages. Racism isn't just abuse of a shoulder budge, it's you convincing most of them that most of us are no more than tiny brains and shiny chains, which I'm calling on you to finally change. This space is great because my style is really minimalist and it's nice not to have any distractions or anything. It's great. I wish more young people from places like where I'm from would come to places like this because it just expands your mind. Guess who's up right now? We've got bass curate and a Carla, but they're performing at the same time, so which one should I go to? Hyperlink is about looking at the links between different forms of art, different forms of expression. Art influences my work all the time, but I view music within that conversation. But visual art, like all forms of great art, it just evokes something that it's sort of beyond words, you know. A space like this provides people with a platform both musically and visually, and that's what I feel like a festival like this should be about. Interdisciplinary kind of cross-pollination and, and, and that's what really interested me about it. Art is life after food clothing and shelter, I think. Expression is the next most important thing. We're running the pop-up interactive installation at the tanks. So like how Lichtenstein took images from magazines and the dots from the printing process, We've been looking around uh, different pop-up ads and taking icons and images and creating our own graphic reinterpretations of them. So we kind of wait for people to discover it for themselves. 
we've been inviting young people to submit photos of their creativity, whether that's nail art, food art, and we've been displaying all of the entries on these screens here behind me and also during some of the performances. Really what we're trying to do with Hyperlink and with the whole circuit programme just to encourage everyone to think creatively, to explore creative ideas. You know, we are all artists and that's what we're trying to say. Sail Away is a massive installation made of about a thousand boats. Over the last two days people have come to Tate and made their own boats to add to it. We invited her to respond to Hyperlink's theme, which is the idea of the six degrees of separation. For everyone who adds a boat participates and therefore is connected to each other. The boats are all made of money, travel tickets and maps. Money is something that has passed through many, many hands and had a life before you got it. Everything is connected and interconnected with each other, with trade and travel. Boats for me symbolise dream carriers really. That it was a sort of come to Tate and uh, float your dream. We've been using photography uh, to create art and all the art has been inspired by six Tate artists. We had different zones set up. The most interesting zone might have been the Ellen Gallagher zone. I think the Roy Lichtenstein zone was a bit crazy as well because there were spots everywhere at one point. The young people we were teaching today were from a number of schools in London, uh, ranging from the ages of 14 to 17. Um, really keen, really enthusiastic about photography and they really enjoyed uh, remixing the artwork. We've got a workshop on architecture run by Rory Glynn. It was all about um, the projection of a cityscape or a landscape on the wall. to come in from the Tate Collectives to run a workshop in illustration and digital art. So I took the young people around to see the work of Roy Lichtenstein and that helps inspire the young people as well. I talked them through like how I project my designs onto different media and from that then we did the same. So we projected our work onto the screens of the tank. It's a really good um, platform for young people to put their artwork into such a great place like the Tate Modern. Right now we've been working with um, the youth from several schools and asking them to find something of note in their history, something that touched them as a, as a food, and asking them to illustrate and design that recipe. Trying to make a mechanism where I could capture all this amazing stuff and amplify it going into my brain. <laughs> my mask is like based on sort of my identity. You mind being like into roles? We're running a workshop where kids are being introduced to product design. We're using the Lichtenstein exhibition to introduce them to the idea of reusing things. He reused the kind of printing process of comics. We've had an incredible array of objects from little robots to giant flowers, designs for housing estates. Yeah, it's great to show them all different kind of pathways that art can take you in your career. Here at the Tate, we've got world famous photographer Rankin. He is taking pictures of people who are then going to destroy their images. He's really talented, like the pictures look good and I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And now I have to destroy this photograph. We're going to destroy our picture unfortunately. But no, it's fun, destroying is like being artistic and expressing your personality. I just feel like, oh, what's going to do this picture justice or make it me or show my personality like they want me to? Now that I've been photographed by Rankin, I feel like I'm two degrees of separation away from Jessie J and Rita Ora, which is amazing. I really wanted to see the Morag Myerskoff um, thing going on today, which looked really, really good. It was six degrees of separation. So what we decided to do was to ask people to write down six colours and six random words and then they would pass that on to the next person who came into the room and with those six words and six colours they did a piece of work. Friendship, love, flying, freedom, apples and trees. Mouse, cat, washing machine, carousel, suntan lotion and love. I just really love to see everybody getting all the paints and the colours and, and just enjoying themselves. And some people stay for hours, some people have been here for like two or three hours, which is very exciting. I 
I really want to see the David Ajay um, installation. So I'm going to sort of sneak off and have a look. <laughs> so we're all here today um, trying to reconstruct um, a 2D painting in three dimensions. There's more to architecture than just a static object in space. Buildings are not static, they're actually moving and they have a narrative. The reconstruction of the painting will only be apparent from a single dimension. So as you move around the space, um, the depth changes, the viewpoint changes, and it becomes from an abstract to the actual painting you can see. We only came to do this It's Nice That thing. We like the magazine, so we thought we'd come down and have a look at it. We're just trying to introduce them to graphic design, but in a nice, free, interesting way. So we've brought down our big zine archive. Zines are like so personal, it's nice to see what other people are doing. Just looking at um, a lot of um, Roy Listerstein stuff, just inspired by like all that pop art kind of typography here. I'm really just surprised and amazed about the amount of time that people will spend putting together these tiny little zines. We had a workshop today about profiling and making new executive series. And we took a lot of pictures of the people, the young people in Tate Modern. The diversity was, was, was beautiful, yeah. I'm asking them to design postcards based on three themes, location, language and codes. And we took those ideas from the work of Ellen Gallagher. I really like the mixed media like, aspect of her work because it's like, really accessible to like, everyone, like, even if you've never sort of, done illustration in your life, everyone can relate to like, materials and like, colour. So that's the end of Hyperlink everyone, hope you've all enjoyed it, we certainly have. We've had amazing performances from Stuki, from Sway, from Akala, we've had installations by Susan Stockhart and yourselves from the We Are All Artists competition and ranking of course, don't forget ranking. So good luck to the next gallery who take on the circuit challenge.